Okay, today I'm going to share with you how to calibrate the pressure controller model 4160. The special pneumatic pressure controller is easy to calibrate. Uh, there is a procedure in the manual, but uh, sometimes you can't get it in as per the manual because uh, some of the steps is not clear or some of the adjustment cannot be done I mean, easily. So there is, by experience, there is a w another way how to do it. For example, I will show you, before I uh, wreck this uh, controller, I will show you that it is working, then I will loosen everything and break everything and make it not work, and then I will rebuild it again quickly for you so you can see uh, this way is, is working fine. So you can tell now this controller is working. I will set the pressure to 600 here, okay? And you can see here the process pressure, which is here. I will increase the process pressure to 600, okay? And we will see the output of the controller increasing. So as soon as it reaches 600, okay, so you can see now the output of the controller is gone out, okay, it's gone up. So if you look also at this point, this is the 600 set point. If I move the set point just slightly out from 600, it will drop the pressure. And if I increase it, it will go up. So this is a proof how it is working. This controller is working perfect. So now what I will do, I will mess up everything, okay? For example, I will loosen those two. Okay, the span adjustment for the controller. I will mess this one. I'll play with this one. I'll make a mess of this one. Also, I will play, I will change the nozzle. So now this controller is not working completely. You can't get a controller worse than this case. So to, to fix it, I will show you a quick procedure by experience. This is not in the manual, but it's a good thing. Okay, I will show you now how to do it. So first thing, you need to get the span adjustment on this from here, in the middle, roughly in the middle. So this slot in here, you can set it like in the middle. So get this one first, in the middle. Okay, that's the first thing you need to do. Now that's almost roughly in the middle, okay? What I need from now is to get, to set this uh, proportional band to 1.5, and I need to adjust the output on this controller. I need to lock nine, sorry, uh, mid-range of the output. My controller is uh, six to 30 PSI. So the mid-range is 18 PSI. I need to lock 18 PSI inside the bellows, the reset bellows. So to do that, I need to increase the output of the controller, okay? I need to get, okay, I need to play with this one until I get 18 PSI. So I will just keep changing that one until it, it is stable on 18. That's very close to 18. When it reaches 18, then I will lock the reset knob. So I locked inside the reset bellows 18 PSI. Now, what I need is to set my uh, set point to mid-range. This one is 1500 because 15 times 100 is 1500 PSI. So I will put this one in the middle, so around 750. Okay, and if you, I need also 750 on my pressure gate. This is, which is simulating the process uh, pressure. So I will get here 750. Okay, that's almost 750. We'll try to maintain it. Okay, so now back to the controller. I need to adjust the nozzle to 18. See, this procedure is called the alignment. So what I will do, I'll just adjust the nozzle to 18. 
try to match the 18 exactly the same as the 18 PSI which you locked inside the reset bellows. Okay? Right. See, now it's very close to 18. Okay, this is almost 18. We need a little bit more. Okay, now that's, that's 18 now. So that's my, my controller now is aligned. I have 50% on the set point. I have 18 PSI, which is 50% locked inside the bellows. I have 750 in my gauge, which I need to maintain that one all the time. It should not drop. Okay, see now my, my output is changed slightly because the, uh, the, my pressure is just decreased slightly, so I'm going to adjust it slightly less. Now it is 18. Okay, I think now most of the work is done. So all what I need is now is, sorry, it looks like my pressure is dropping, yes. My pressure is dropping because the, I can see the output is changing. It looks like I have a leak here in the system, but I will try to maintain that 750, and I should get 18 PSI. You have to be very careful in this step. This is very important step. You need to get that 18 PSI exactly. And make sure when you do it, you don't, your pressure does not drop, okay? So that's almost 18. Now, it, if I set it correctly ex exactly at 18, okay, as soon as I open the reset, now it's in the closed position. If as soon as I open it, my output should not change. Okay, my output should not change. Okay, so I will open it. Sorry, it stays at 18. If it stays at 18, then the calibration is done. All what I need to do now is just to set uh, my set point now to 300 to test the controller if it's functioning or not. So this one is fully open the reset, okay? And I need to lower the pressure here on to 300. I will take it to zero first. Then I will need to go up again up to 300. I will see the valve is open. Now it is closed and the process pressure is zero. So if I increase the pressure in here now in the process, I will increase. I will increase here. It's 100. As soon as it reaches 300, okay, it, the valve will start, the controller will start to like, bring the valve. Okay, now it's 300, uh, 280, that's 300. So, at, it started at around 320 PSI, okay? As, uh, if I increase it more, it will, the valve will go open more, okay? Now this calibration is done, and if you, Set it again to 600, the controller give an output of zero because the process pressure is lower. If you look here, it's around 300. If I reach, increase the pressure to 600, it will start opening the valve and the output will increase. Look, that's around close to 600 and you can see that one will start now. We are 580, that's 600 started. Okay, now that's, that's perfect now. This is how you calibrate the pressure controller, okay? And if you take, let's say for example, I increase the process pressure to 900. Now here in 900, okay? If I set it to 900, and I come to my sit point now. If I take the sit point to 900, okay? If I go just slightly above the 900, the output will go down to zero, and if I go slightly less, the valve will open. So the controller now is working perfect. If I set it to 
say 600 for example and I increase my I lower my process pressure to 500 okay I set it to 500 now it's 600 the output is zero if I take it just slightly less as soon as I reach 500 it with the output will will go up so the controller is responding to the set point and exactly setting and there is no doubt about it and you can see how it is easy to uh, calibrate and verify the calibration of the uh, pneumatic controller i hope that will uh, make it easy for you if you try if you have any uh, question you can leave uh, any question in the comments